Hi, it's Travis here, and welcome back to our adventures in Azeroth. Last episode, we got six shimmer weeds for Brigild Barley Brew from a troll camp that is just east of Brunal Village, around here. And while we were there, we met with a rogue named Sapphire Fox, and we fought those trolls. But it was a shame because Sapphire Fox was slain. We got overrun. And I could have saved his life, or her life, I should say. Because I looted uh, a chest, and I got two minor healing pots from it, but I chose to keep them for myself, which was kind of a shame. Clearly, uh, Trap and Trav is a greedy dwarf. What's on your mind? Should have should have shared the the pot, and maybe Sapphire Fox would be alive today. Shimmer Stout, I'd like my brother Wellart to try my new Shimmer Stout. He's a mountaineer stationed in the Southern Guard Tower, one of the two towers on the border to Loch Madan. He may not be a brewer like the rest of us barley brews, but he loves his drinks and I know he'll like this one. Can you bring him the barley, the barrel of Shimmer Stout for me? Off with you. Off with you. All right, well, here we go. Uh, we got a barrel of Shimmer Stout. I don't know if we're gonna go deliver that today. But I know we're going to go to Frostmane Hold. And I guess I'll read this quest again. I'm behind on my report. This is from, uh, I forget, uh, the, wind, the white beard. Yeah, one of the white beards sent us here. I'm behind on my report and could use your help, Trav and Trav. I must, I just managed to find where the trolls are holed up. But I saw so many trolls, I was afraid to go in. Here's what I need. Go down to the cave, poke around inside, slay a few of these trolls, then come back. Take the road north out of Karanos. When you find the, when you get to the bridge, follow the frozen river west until you reach Iceflow Lake. You'll find Brunal Village on the west bank. The hold is southwest of the village. And then we'll get like a shield or a cloth chest. I wonder how good that cloth chest is. It's not that good. So here's the here's the cave. And it's got a bunch of frost main trolls. Clearly, there's a, a little war going on between the Frostmane trolls and uh, and the dwarves. I think we might hit a uh, level 10 today. Let's shoot this guy up. Got to remember to keep our uh... oh, this guy's gonna get obliterated. got some more linen cloth. That was a good thing that we got yesterday, too. So, you get a lot of linen cloth from these guys, so we're able to uh, get some bandages. So, we gotta get in this cave. And it looks like we have to slay five headhunters, and we have to fully explore Frostmane Hold. A lot of trolls here. There's one headhunter. Put our... Uh, Oh, wow, here they come. Coming full force. We got the range, guys. We got the range. Shoot him. Come on, finish him off. Yeah, that's right, run away. Should have used concussive shot on this guy. Still got a decent amount of bullets, so I think we'll be good there. These guys are fast. Does he have, yeah, he doesn't have hunter's mark. No hunter's. Be able to finish him off here. Get him. Get him. <laughs> nice little battle. Now I think we can get inside this cave. And we got one headhunter down. Got a couple more to go. Let's try out these bandages. Gotta remember that I have these just in case. Get into some trouble. 
Oh, look at that big gong right there. This would be kind of a cool, uh, be a cool little photo. There we go. Take a little screenshot there. It's right outside of Frost Main Hold. Now we gotta fight these headhunters. We got a patrol coming. We're gonna have to watch ourselves. We have not died yet. And we just gotta watch our backs because uh, the respawns are gonna go down. I like fighting these guys because they like to stay ranged. They don't do too much damage. Finish them. One thing I need to watch out for though is these guys like to run. They don't do a lot of damage, but they like to run. So I'm gonna have to save my uh, my finisher move when he starts running like that. See, that's where you save your arcane shot. Finish him off so he doesn't doesn't snitch to the other trolls. Should we use uh, some bare bastard boar ribs? I think we should. I think we might need the the buff, which gives us, I believe, two stamina and two spirit. And there we go, we got the buff. And uh, we have to fully explore this place. It's gonna take some time. I just gotta get him low. Because when he runs, he might LOS. We're going to be slaying a lot of trolls today, guys. This could be a tough cave. I think we'll be okay, though. If it's just these guys, we just got to make sure they don't get away. This guy just give up? We missed. All right, so we got that part done. We're done with the. Uh... Here's a snow, snow, snow guy. Okay, we actually have to kite. running away. He's gonna snitch. Okay, good. We got him. Got him before he could say something. No, we didn't. Another one came. See, this is what we gotta watch out for. Now we're in a melee, melee battle with one of these guys. I'm gonna bring this guy around. Got some shot there. Could get bad. I think we got that crit there. All right, so let's use one of these bandages again. Might as well use them up. Eventually, linen bandages get kind of uh, go obsolete pretty quick. Let's make some more. Keep leveling up our first aid while we're in here. And I think they mean by fully explore, they mean the cave, right? Like, well, we got a frost main shadow priest. Honor's mark on him. Look at how close this guy has to get. Ooh, wow, big shot. Big shot.
Doesn't take a lot of damage. There we go. Finished him off. Getting a lot of junk from these guys too, which is good. Keep using these bandages. Wonder who's up there. Frost or Shadow got a nice chest up here too. I think I might put the treasure finder up. Now we're gonna try to get that chest. Wonder how long it's gonna take us to like actually explore this entire place. I like fighting the headhunters. Just getting like a ranged battle. Alright. So we probably want to fight this guy because this guy's going to run around. Okay, here we go. Shoot this guy. This guy's kind of tough. His name Hide Seeker, Hide Skinner. He's a pretty tough guy. He's doing a lot. Of, yeah, he does a lot of melee damage. Run! Oh no, we're in trouble. We got two on us. I can't believe this thing isn't dead yet. The thing is, that these things might spawn soon. This guy still has so much health. Where'd he run? Where's he going? Gosh. That was wild. I thought we were going to be dead there. So one thing we know about these uh, these guys here, these hide skinners, they got a lot of health, and they hit pretty hard. Just gotta watch out for them. We got this guy walking back. Finish him off. The thing is, we're getting a lot of XP. Here. The thing I'm worried about is the respawns. LOS that, which is good. Oh, come on. There we go. Shot him right in the back. Okay, we got another one going down here. It's good that we get rid of these uh, guys that are running around. See, the spawn rate's coming. Front's guarded now. Starting to spawn back, so we're gonna have to run this way. Look at that, he dazed me. What a beast. Now we actually gotta fight him here. Gosh, he dazed me again. The thing is, we got a potion. Or oh, another one spawned. Yeah, they're starting to spawn. Let's finish him off. More linen cloth, that's good. Well, it looks like we're going to have to fight our way out of here. Since these things are spawning, the only way we can move... Can just move forward now. So we're going to hug the right. Also got a copper vine there, it's kind of cool to see. We're going to get this treasure. And then we'll probably move up this way. Might as well. Just gonna make sure this guy doesn't get close from other, other trolls. And there we go. Big level ten, guys. That's big, which means we can get some more, uh, some new abilities. Let's 
see what this head has to do. I think we can get a pet now, can we? I'm pretty sure. Sometimes I think a pet would cause me more harm than good. Because I don't know how to control pets very well. <laughs> but, uh... I think it'll, it'll be a learning experience for sure. Probably put him on defense. Wait for... Because the pet gets aggro, right? And we're gonna kite this guy. Forgot about these hide seekers. They got a lot of health. He didn't put Hunter's mark on him. It's not good. That was a big hit. I'll start moving this way. And he's gonna start running, which isn't good. Could you imagine being in this cave and running out of bullets? I think we got three, over 300. I'm gonna buy some bullets once we get out of here. So it looks like we're uh, we're exploring. And we got a. Oh, this guy's coming for us. It's hide seeker guys. I don't like. I really don't like them. We got too much health. Kite him back this way. There we go. Alright, well we're rolling, guys. We're getting through this. I seen that troll come down here. Looks like we can do that as well. We don't have to fight that guy yet. Okay. Let's get this chest. Killing you be easy. How about that, pal? I should have, uh... Come on. Okay, good. We can get some shots. Finish him. Alright, so let's check what's in this chest. We worked pretty hard to get here. And supposedly we're in combat. Oh, great. Where'd you come from? You, you dirty... Dirty troll. This is a good way to kite. Keep running here. Get that concussive shot off. Getting our hunter's mark up now a lot more, so that's good. Problem is this guy like doesn't This is a lot of health, man. Alright. Alright, we finished him off. Gotta heal up here. Hopefully we don't pull this guy. We're gonna pull him, aren't we? Maybe we can get by him. I just wanna get that chest. Okay, good. He didn't see us. We blended into the rocks, guys. We blended in. Now we can run back up here. Get this chest, finally. More linen cloth. We got a silver bar and a couple uh, forest mushrooms. Not too shabby. All right, so let's keep on uh, exploring here. I guess we'll keep moving forward and uh, attack this guy. Iman Tilef Fuzobia Letala. Yeah, we can't. 
I don't know how to read troll. Be cool if you could learn languages. If they added that, like a, a an ability, like kind of like an off profession, like language learning. That'd be kind of cool. But they never did that. It'd be like a profession, kind of like archaeology and retail and fishing. Get him down. Oh, we got a patrol coming. This is great. You'll be dead soon. Good thing that guy's not a healer. That guy healed that guy? Another good thing is we can... No, oh, we gotta kite this way. <sighs> patrol bugs me. Thing is, we can, we can eventually just jump off. See, this is a good play here. Then you jump off like this, and then he has to run around. And then boom. I didn't want to do that though the first time because that that patrol guy was running around, so I didn't want to pull both. All right, so we're doing all right here. We're moving forward. We got another debuff called Curse of Weakness. Physical damage dealt is reduced by five. And Fairy Fire reduces uh, armor by a lot. So, if you're a melee class in here, like you're a warrior, oh, we got a new axe called the Frost Main Axe. It's actually better than our a our axe we got right now. Nice, got to upgrade. Let's use that. But yeah, back to what I was saying. If you're a melee class in here, the debuffs these trolls put on you are pretty lethal. So it's good that we're a, a range class that can kite. Come on. Come on. Might be kiting this guy a little too far. I'm feeling these guys are going to spawn again. Hide guys are annoying, man. Should have kited this guy better. This is what I should have done. Okay, nope. Not going there now. Come on. Okay, good. He's running. No running for you. Look at all these patrols, man. Like, where do these patrols come from? Let's see how far this guy goes. Should get rid of him. He's, he's trouble. Yeah, he's he's trouble. You just climb that. Oh, great. So now I gotta watch out. This cave, that cave back there is filling up. Over here, we're, we're somewhat okay. We got that poison up. Good little combo we got off there. Now we're running again. Shoot him in the head. Gosh. Why are these guys so strong? Think we can beat him in a fight? Yeah, we can because he's scared. It's scared at a certain health. Yeah, we can't go back that way now. Got some tough jerky off him. Maybe we'll have a little bite of, bite of to eat here. And we'll keep moving forward. It's good we got rid of that patrol, though. He would have been a pain. Those are the number one things you got to watch for in caves or patrols. You pull... Because in Classic, you pull, like, one to two guys. You're usually in a lot of trouble, especially if you pull three. Okay, so I think we can deal with this guy. Another headhunter. Oh, this guy's getting crit. Getting a lot of crits off here. More linen cloth. That's good. The eggs are getting pretty full. Got a headhunter over here now. This is the route we're going to take. 
That's not a headhunter. It's a hide guy. I think these guys are the most lethal guys in the cave. Come on, turn around. Run away. Another peeling pot, guys. That's big. Okay, that guy spawned back. We gotta watch out. He's, I think he's the patrol. And... I wonder if we should slay him. I don't know. Probably go for this guy. He's another hide guy, though. Gotta watch out when we're kiting, though. We don't want to run into that other hide guy. Patrols back and forth here. can run now. Yeah. Oh, he's in trouble. Yeah. Should be running away from us. Yeah. This guy was a brave one. Got patchwork shoes. One of the hardest bosses in the game, Patchwork. He's no joke. And Max Ramus, that's for sure. No buffs. He seems like, like uh, he's almost almost impossible, but he's tough. Hits like a truck. Our guild's still trying to get through Nax. We're on uh, Saffron. It's tough to get to Saffron every week because you have to play 13 bosses just to see him. Okay, there's another one here. It's a hide guy. Got a lot of room to tight though, so I think we'll be okay. Alright, let's get some shots out for me. Keep running here. Keep on running. We're missing. This guy's dodging us. Oh, we found another battered chest, guys. Let's see what we get in here. The thing is, we're going to run out of room. Which kind of sucks. Simple dagger. Okay, well. One thing we'll do is we'll create all these bandages. This will give us more space. And then we got some junk in here. Let me get rid of this stringy wolf meat. And we have a uh, one top jerky. Yeah, this will give us some space. We got one space from the linen cloth being gone and turned into linen bandages. And I think we'll get rid of this stringy wolf meat. Because wolf meat. Chunk of boar meat. Boar meat's good, though. I think we can use that. Yeah, let's open this up. Gives us two slots. Oh, great. Tommy's here. Just when we were about to open the chest, you know? Yeah, they're starting to spawn. We gotta hurry up. We've got all day. Can't be here all day. I wonder if it's... I wonder if we fully explored it yet. Finish this guy off. Why does he just keep fighting us? I thought they run away. Okay, now we can check the chest finally. Have we fully explored it? Have we completed? Oh, it's done. Okay. All right. Well, I guess we're done. Uh, we got some silver leaf here. I wonder what I, what I should get rid of for the silver leaf. I don't know. 
I don't know. Should I get rid of anything? It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's just a herb. We're gonna get a bunch of those. Let's get out of here. We'll leave that for the next guy who comes. Get, we'll get a nice little silver leaf. Yeah, we got the battered chest, which is good. And it uh, looks like this quest is done. So... Yeah, we went through the entire place. I guess I'll fight my way out of here. And then we'll, uh, we'll hearth back and we'll talk to Sinir Whitebeard and see what he has to say. Cool little cave, though. You can get two chests. I'm just beating the crap out of this guy. And then, yeah, the linen cloth. I kind of want that. I get rid of the tough jerky. Yeah, we'll have a bite of tough jerky. One thing I know is we gotta sell some stuff. Oh, great. Who are you, man? Who are you? Oh, yeah, you don't want to do that to him. We're in a nice little range fight. You don't do that to a headhunter. Headhunters like it when uh, they're, they're up close and personal. I think they do more damage. Turn that thing into like a big two-hander there. Okay. Let's bandage up here. Good thing we got got a lot of linen cloth from doing this. So we got to level up our first aid. And let's make it out. So this is the end. The end of the road. Got one more of these guys. Killing you be easy. We hit level 10, so we can get some uh, new abilities, I think. We've got 18 silver, so it's a decent amount of silver. Alright. Well, that's the end of that. We'll fight this guy. This guy? Kind of tight. You gotta watch yourselves here. We you don't want to pull two. Get ourselves in a lot of trouble. I think, you, I think you have to pull two. I think one of them's only level eight. See right there? That's when you shoot right there. Oh, never mind. Never mind. The thing is... We're going to get a decent amount of shots off on him. Another good thing is we can kite him like this. Oh, that was dumb. We can finish him off here easily. Come on, get him. Okay, there's just this guy. i put a hunter's mark on him. Think we can beat him in a fight? It's level 9. Let's show you the power of the dwarves. We got a health pot, so we should be good. As long as we don't kite into that guy. Finish him off! There we go. Got some pants down there. These pants could be worth something. It's probably worth more than this chunk of meat, so we're gonna get rid of that. How are all those pants anyways? 34? Kind of the same as the pants we got. What's he got on him? Copper. Take a little picture of this right here. Imagine pulling all these guys. We have to run pretty far. There we go. A little screenshot. Then we'll slay this guy. And we'll be on our way. Probably just hurt that out of here. Oh, look. We found a gnome. Good luck. Good luck, no mate. Wish I found you earlier. I think he'll I think he'll do alright. But those uh if he blinks into something, he pulls two things, so he might be in a lot of trouble. Any more junk to get rid of? I think this copper ore is junk. I'm just gonna take the boots. Alright, so there we go. We made it out. We explored it. Got two chests. Maybe that mage will get that uh, that leaf that we left in one of the chests. 
We're going to hearth back to Karanos. We'll turn this quest into Sinir White. We're going to sell a bunch Go. of stuff, too. Let's get rid of all this junk. We got a lot of it. 22 armor waist belt. It's better than the belt we got. Put that on. Get rid of this guy. These boots don't need. Mace don't need. Pants we got. Dagger. Don't need any of those. And that's it. I think we'll keep the rest. Maybe sell it on the auction house. And there we go. See you soon. We got 22 silver. Let's see what we can get from the trainer here. Have a little chat with him. And then we'll have a little talk with Sinir. Here there. Aspect of the Hawk, guys. The hunter takes on aspects of the Hawk, increasing ranged attack power by 20. Only aspect, only one can be on at a time. That'll be good. More damage. Serpent Sting. Stings the target. Oh, rank 2 Serpent Sting. So we got uh, more damage on our Serpent Sting now. And Track Humanoids. Shows the location of all nearby humanoids on the map. Only one form of tracking can be active. I guess we'll take that. And that's it. Watch, get it back. But he's got, he has a quest for us now. I wonder if this is like a, our hunter quest. You got my attention. Taming the beast, yeah. That's a Walk big quest, you. guys. That is the quest that will allow us to tame pets. Let's have a chat with Frostbeano. Sinir Whitebeard here. Ah, Trav and Trav. I didn't think you'd have much trouble finding the place. My directions are excellent, you know. Let me just finish up my report then. He brings out some paper and scribbles on it momentarily. There. Well, haha. -ha. Now this certainly is funny. I don't suppose, Trav and Trav, that you would mind doing one last favor for me. Alright, so I guess we're going to have to do one last favor. And that is to uh, deliver his reports. Excellent. Take my report to Senator Baron Redstone. He's the sour type, so don't let his less than sunny disposition get to you. He's in Ironforge in the chamber where King Magni holds court. Don't know the way to Ironforge? Take the road out of Karanos North, cross the bridge, then follow the road east. There are large banners flanking the road up the mountainside. By the way, if you might avoid mentioning how you assisted me, can't let them think I'm not working hard out here. You know, <laughs> safe travels. Typical white beard, always telling, telling the young dwarfs to do their dirty work. But hey, it's all good. It looks like we're gonna have to go to Ironforge eventually, and we're also going to be able to get our uh, able to tame a beast pretty soon. So that's good news. But that is the end of the episode, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.